with this question, we have to figure out what those values of x are going to be that are going to turn this into the into a big old zero. So, like always, we're going to factor this bad boy. First thing we have to do is to check to see if there's a common factor, factors that we can pull out of each term. And by golly, there is right. There's each we can pull a factor of two out from each one and an x. So let's rewrite this as. 2x parentheses x squared minus 4x minus 12. So, right, if we multiply 2x times what was inside the parentheses, we would get the exact same function here. So now we're going to have to factor the trinomial into the product of two binomials. That's going to be our uh, parachute pants. Bam! But that factors very nicely into, let's see, x, x, let's see. 12 is 2 and 6, 2 and 6, 6 has to be negative, 2 has to be positive. So the whole chimichanga factors down into 2x times, parentheses, x minus 6, times, parentheses, x plus 2. So that makes the, the zeros the following, right? If x equaled 0, that would make 2 times x 0, and 0 times anything would be 0. So that's the first one. The second one, if x equals 6, positive 6, 6 minus 6 would be 0, and that would turn the whole thing into 0. The last one would be if x equaled negative 2. That would turn that last term into a 0. And thanks to the zero product rule, that would turn the whole thing into 0. So that looks like your answer. <coughs> 0, 6, and negative 2. MGZ, out.